On this occasion, uh, I'm presented with a budget of 50,000 Ghana cities, for which myself and the MC, we want to underwrite so that uh, this uh, business will go on.
We thank you and many more blessings that we ask through Christ our Lord Jesus. Amen. Nana Ofinti, the representative of the Omahene of Abogo traditional area, and all Nananamu seated. Nana Bruja Sapon, and the founder of Bruja Foundation. Staff, ladies and gentlemen, management members of a highly esteemed hospital present, all protocol observed. Indeed, just as it was indicated by the man who led us to do the opening prayer, said, and when Yamni asked that, and can go to Mufunya to God be the glory. We are seeing what we are seeing this morning by God's grace, first and foremost, and by the kind courtesy of Nana Bruja Sapo, founder of Bruja Foundation. We also thank the restored team all the way from US volunteers, your time, your sacrifices, and all that you have left to be part and parcel of this event. We of the Presbyterian Hospital Agogo are very proud, honored to be part of this historic event. And we give God that glory. Before I assume my seat, let me say that we thank the Restore team so much and Broja Foundation. I wish the MP was here for me to make this statement, but I'm sure when he comes, definitely somebody will whisper into his ears. We pray that things like this are policy makers. For that matter, MP and his colleagues will take these things up. Last Monday, that is 28th of October, I'm sure those of us who were here saw the teeming patient that gathered here for screening. It tells you that the Ghanaian citizen, many of us are unwell. But we need people like Nana Bruja and Restore to say, Whatever God has given to me, whatever I have got, it is time for me to give back to society. And this is the reason why I'm commending them. Honorable, you are most welcome. That is our lawmaker, lawyer Andy Apia Kubi. So, we want to thank God. And let me also put on record that the Presbyterian Hospital at Google is not a recipient. But we are also shedding off a lot. We are partnering Buddha Foundation and we are partnering Restore Foundation so that at the end of the day, we can bring hope to our teaming patients. I want to use this singular opportunity to call on anyone who is listening to me that let us emulate this kind gestures that has been put up by Nana, Bruja, and Restore, so that the Ghanaian citizen can have a complete well-being. Nipa yare, nipa bibri inti apo, na se ye tumi efo koso ye enyoma eti se ya, ebema nipa bibri ekun atowo, and then the productivity we're talking about in this country could be something that we can continue to boost off. May I say a very big welcome to all of you gathered here and most especially to you, the Restore team and then Bruja Foundation. God bless you. Thank you. And I go go my hair and I call me a Kogosa as representative and I go my hair distinguished dignitaries, stakeholders, partners, the Restore 
Foundation, my own Team Bridger Foundation, my dear wife, Sheila Bridger and team members. Today is a momentous day for Honorable MP, Mr. Andy Apiakudi, among four Asante Achim and the President. Today is a momentous day for Agogo Presbyterian Hospital. The Bruja Foundation, Restore Foundation, and the community as we launch this transformative risk contractive surgery mission. Your presence here symbolizes unwavering support and shared commitment to advancing the welfare of our community. This mission embodies the power of collective action and we are deeply grateful for the generosity and vision that has brought it to life. I extend my deepest appreciation to the hospital's general manager, Reverend Debris, Reverend Ezekiel Daribri, Dr. Michael Obin, who he has to arrive, and the dedicated medical team, the volunteers, your compassion, professionalism, and resilience are the foundation of this mission. To the surgeons and staff who will provide care, your skill and humanity inspire us. Through your hard work, patients will experience not only physical healing, but also restored confidence and dignity. You are the real heroes behind this mission, and we thank you for your selfless service. To the patients and families embarking on this journey, we honor your courage. This mission represents more than medical treatment. It's a path to renowned hope and opportunity. Together we are building a legacy of compassion, resilience, and unity that will impart generations to come. Let us continue this journey with renewed education, ensuring this mission brings lasting change to individuals and to our community. Thank you, and may this mission be a resounding success for all. Our cherished visitors who are coming here to give us this hope for uh, commendation for your resilience and your commitment to humanity. We thank you very much for this effort. Number two, let us also commend the effort of our heroes of the past who have trained this place and have brought us this far. It is important to also acknowledge the effort of uh, Nana Dompiahine, who has been in contact with me since he started this journey. And I've been with him all through, and I cherish uh, his commitment to this society. We very much appreciate your effort, Nana, and more grace to your elbows. Now to the uh, hospital administration. And much as you, I acknowledge the difficulties that you find yourself in this your endeavor, you have done your best so far bring us this comfort up to this time. I remember two years ago when I had to bring uh, equipment to this hospital to renew the hopes of the doctors who work within this institution. I, I know that most of the equipments here are very obsolete and for that reason I, 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 I decided to bring these uh, items here. Uh, we did not get uh, mentioned in the list of uh, Agenda 111 for the government for the only reason that we have a Google hospital which is here and which is acknowledged as one of the best hospitals in the country for which reason our uh, municipality wasn't considered in the list. Nevertheless, I have a request to the president for the retooling of the hospital which is receiving consideration and I know that in due time our hospital will be compensated for uh, with equipment to uh, re-equip the hospital uh, as a compensation for our loss in the Agenda 111 uh, list. Uh, I personally want to pledge my commitment to this project and I will endeavor to be present at all times and to share with them the vision and also to support uh, materially as we pursue relief for humanity. I thank you very much for the occasion. And I thank you very much for the opportunity to participate in it. And I wholeheartedly uh, support you through the period that you're going to be here. And I'll connect with you even as you go out 
so that we will also explore more opportunities to find equipment to the hospital. On this note, uh, they say Oliver Twist said Oliver will ask for more. So I, I will plead with our visitors that even as you live here, do not forget that you were once part of this community and you will continue to be part of the community. We will continue to invite you to come here uh, when you have the time to share with us. But one singular request I put before you is that we need equipment for this hospital. And therefore, every opportunity that we will have for us to mobilize uh, equipment from outside the jurisdiction for this hospital in particular, I will be there to support you. It will not be a case of coming through the ports and going through difficulties in trying to deliver the products to Ghana and to the hospital. I will bear the, uh, the, uh, the responsibility of ensuring that these equipment, if they come to our ports, they are delivered safely to the hospital. So uh, I will partner with you in this endeavor of searching for the equipment for this hospital, and I will take the lead in the charge of delivering to the hospital. It has become necessary for me to do so because of a request that came to me whilst I'm here. And I'm not sure that it's fair for us to embed in, uh, the institution with the consumables cost. So on this occasion, uh, I'm presented with a budget of 50,000 Ghana cities, for which myself and the MC, we want to underwrite so that uh, this uh, business will go on without considering uh, indebtedness post facto. So uh, on this occasion, we, we pledge to give the 50,000 and that we want to encourage the procurement department to go ahead with procurement of the consumables immediately because we will underwrite the cost within a few days, today or tomorrow. So let this not be a hindrance to the operations. Thank you very much. Member of Parliament for Asante Achimino, Honorable Lawyer Andy Apia Kubi, Brother Resource, Administrators, Heads of Institutions, Students, and all protocols observed. I'm highly delighted to call upon this morning to deliver this special address. Actually, when Nana called me with such a wonderful project, I really encourage him because this is one of the things that we expect from other stakeholders. Normally, there has been a lot of struggle and unbridled struggle for power between Mananum and politicians, which may not be encouraged. But I thank God that these issues have been a thing of the past, and Roger Foundation is doing such a wonderful project for us and the of. I encourage him very much. And I hope, Nana, this will not be an idea wonder. I pledge for I will be happy if we can do this every year so that a lot of patients can also benefit to such a wonderful project. And to the doctors and all the visitors who came from abroad, finally, I want to assure you that as head of security, I promise your security will never be compromised. I hope you'll stay here very peaceful. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
to lay our highly specialized skills and medical experts from all over the world, from Mali, from Senegal,
from Germany, from France, from the USA, and from Ghana at the disposal of the good people of our country and Agogo in particular. It is a very great and a humble privilege for us. I would ask one of our strong pillars and the foundation, Don Sutherland, our International Relationships Director, to give the speech on behalf of our foundation. Good morning again, Nananum, all traditional leaders, Agogo Presbyterian Hospital leadership, all invited guests, and since my colleague already introduced them, I'll say all protocol observed. I'm Don Sutherland, Director of International Affairs for Restore, and I'm here with 26 volunteers. In Agogo, let me say, Asante Akin Agogo today. And we're really, really excited to be here. We're excited to start our mission. And we hope that we will do the community well today. We extend our gratitude to Nana Dumpari Pia Ini and the Broga Foundation restore Presbyterian Hospital and the entire community for welcoming us because we are here to serve. The Restore Medical Mission is dedicated to providing essential medical care, surgeries, and medical training to underserved communities in Africa and also other areas around the globe. Through the calibration and efforts of our committed volunteers and local healthcare professionals, we have been positively impacting and transforming lives for 16 years. And I want to just call out one of our volunteers who has been with us for more than 10 years. And that's Dr. Barry Freeman. He's right here, stand up. <laughs> and Dr. Freeman is from the US and he's our senior on the Restore team. And he flew in last night, a long flight, and he's here with us this morning and he'll be here with us for the rest of the week. And I wanna make sure you know that age doesn't matter in our Restore Foundation. We have all people who serve. Dr. Freeman retired a year ago and he's still coming to serve as a volunteer for Restore. So thank you, Dr. Freeman. Over the next five days, our goal is to transform the lives of at least 80 people. <laughs> I would say 100, but my team might kill me. <laughs> so we, we're hoping we can do a minimum of 50, but we're striving for 80, 100, we, if we can get out of here and do what we need to do. And we're looking at people who need reconstructed surgeries, people who could not afford to be here and get this surgery done. So. We thank Honorable MP for his donation because we were talking about this, stressing about this, and uh, had our broker foundation last night. We couldn't sleep because we were trying to figure out how we were gonna make sure this surgery was indeed what we call free. So the staff of Agogo Presbyterian Hospital, please work with us to make sure the patients who cannot afford the surgery, don't have to pay so that we can take care of them. So we're with you there. The Restore Agogo Medical Mission is poised to make a profound and lasting difference in the lives of many of the Agogo community and all of Ghana. We have people coming here from Volta region, from Kumasi, from even Upper East. So we are here to serve and we are here to make a difference in Ghana. So thank you, thank you for entrusting us for the opportunity to serve Ghana, and we hope that we'll get to know some of you this week, and we'll also have a good time while we do service. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Restore Worldwide Foundation team, we would like to thank Nana Broga, the Broga Foundation, for partnering with
with us to make this mission happen. It's a lot of effort, a lot of work has gone into it. Uh, Nana, we really appreciate everything you've done. Uh, you've really been committed and passionate about it, and it wouldn't have happened without you. So on behalf of our foundation, Dr. Michael Levine, we thank you. We appreciate the effort. Okay? Thank you. provide reconstructive efforts to restore individuals who are maimed either through birth deformities or acquired deformities such as burns, trauma, who have lost all the ability to socialize because of these deformities, whose function are impaired. Like the six-year-old boy I saw who had burns, and the, all the hands are contracted. She, she, he cannot stretch out his hand. He cannot hold a cup. The aim will be release this contractures, release his fingers so that he can hold a cup, so that he can clean himself, sanitize himself. He can eat by himself. This is the aim. This has been made possible through the collaborative effort of Anna Broja, uh, the Broja Foundation, um, which is a national NGO and um, the Restore Foundation led by Dr. Mike Lobbing, who have put together resources to make these surgeries with all the aspects. As you can see, we have reconstructive experts all within from Ghana and beyond our countries who have come from all over the world to provide this um, service at no cost to their clients so that these ones can be independent, can grow to have a job on their own, can take care of their own families. Other than that, they become a dependency not only on themselves or their families, but a de dependency on the nation as well. But with these efforts, they will be productive, and not only for themselves, but for the country as a whole. This is basically the aim of the mission. So we screened over 300 patients who came from um, all over the country, from the northern region, Cape Coast, Volta region. Uh, because a mission has a limited duration, we have selected about 200 of them, but our target is that we should be able to achieve 150 transformed individuals for the better. Reconstruction is um, fast developing. They are the very good medical experts in this country. Um, I became a reconstructive surgeon in 2016. At the time, I was number 12 in the whole country at that time. That was 2016, but now we have almost 30 surgeons you can see the progression you know um, the challenge with these patients is the affordability they cannot afford if you don't do it for them free they will there's no way they will have their lives changed so that is the challenge with these patients 
most of these patients have been referred to bigger centers. They've been referred to Kumasi, but they cannot go. You know, so basically, it's like you being referred to a top center, but now through the, uh, the efforts of Nana and Michael, that center has been brought to you at where you live and at no cost for you. This is basically what is happening to these patients. They just can't afford the care. So for this mission, a mission is for a period because we have different people who have come from all the regions from Accra, from Kumasi and beyond Ghana, all over the world, who are coming, Mali, Senegal, um, USA, Germany, France, um, who are coming to support the mission. It would run for the week. Because we are based in Ghana, we will do the follow-ups because in surgery, you can't do surgery and just go, no, so we are here, we have the Ghanaian surgeons who would follow up these patients to make sure that whatever has begun is complete for the patient. Now, certainly with the effort, this is the, uh, the first of its kind and with the Buja Foundation. And I'm very certain that this is just the beginning of bigger more and further more collaborations with them. <laughs> traditional council, the elders of the community, Restore Foundation, Bridger Foundation, and Restore Foundation, and Miami Foundation, Bridger Foundation. Eh yeah, plastic surgery. Me ame jia me di na na be di akumbu di asapo. Me ni agogo man he ba me koko asapo. Don't pia he. You may di aye ba be di ni se. Ye ba ba be ye surgery. Ama omo omo ni bi. Omo omo ni ani dafuswa. Na doctor Obe ye ye renowned Harvard trained plastic surgeon Dr Michael Obin. Oni ni team. Aya Restore Foundation, Enemy Foundation, na kabumwa yadi juma diwe aba. No bi baka se na 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 den. The only thing I say na hini e yompunto ni e juma a wode ba e de aba abe boa. The first e noni ya hini. Amamre sumu hini adi. But juma diwe yadi bayi. E ni pani biya sese. E biya di dem. E bi ni e ni dasu biya wobe biya. E ba abe tu aba. Ina ya nida abatu wasu ina ya he amai ame bisha mwanza ndi ana me ya bwa me mai ndi nchini ma ya seti budi foundation me wanamfu a di dem e wakuma hana mfu hana mdi hene wanamfu a di dem e wakuku bibri ni amadam fune doctor Michael Obin ni ni di kumo if you say we yebi man kuku bibri so na sana na I'll come with you to your town I'll come to do free surgeries for your people not only for Ghanaians, or the people around the world. Yeah, me no kasi. It be free Gabon, it be free Cote d'Ivoire, it be free India, it be free the US. No, it be free Congo. And I'm back at Congo. My muha. You see, I'm more theater. Doctors need now lining up. Oh my, oh my. Eduma. My first reconstructive surgery. Ne bo diye. It's very expensive. I don't binti. And I am Saka. Doctor Michael Obin. Any team. I wa ha. It's just by the grace that we have Dr. Michael Robin and the Restore Foundation team in Agogo Santi Achimen. People all over the world are in Agogo Presbyterian Hospital here. People free. We are seeing in a family and a ba. Omo babi shi anaji se afa omudi. Mo amu mo doctors. Ah, aba kumha ifra manone aba eba be. Eh adumbi. Eh boa de pa ye. O research ya wanka sa abi hum. E ni pa. It humbles me. A mammy premier once said, I do mean to name now, Craig, and could it not to be a be a no niska? It be a no near any dust will be a baby, I didn't mean until the mammy do a back room, and may buy and so no. Then found one who I mean for me. And then a man who mean a nanya, the summa go go mine, the summa santa mine, and the shag will go mine and a comic corpus upon the monyam, and the shag will go him and a. So I could see a word in my monyam. May they share a Diana family and me free any monyam. May they say, Yeah, 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 or two, four, or say to two any monyam. If you say, A summa will go my, a summa santa my. 
Ah,